Joyce, dog grooming stores are one of those on that list that are set to reopen on Wednesday with some serious social distancing and curbside drop off rules in place. This is the governor's order faces some critical tests this week. At Community Bark Dog Wash and Groom, owner Mary Kilpatrick shows us how it'll work. You can come in here, you can leave Legger inside the vestibule and then you'll step out and I'll come back, okay? No interaction with customers, appointments, and payments on phone or online. The past weeks have been horrible. It's very painful as a, as a dog lover, but also as a business owner, to not be able to help people. The changes take effect Wednesday morning and will allow some non-essential businesses to reopen with restrictions. The governor's office specifically specifically named animal groomers, small engine repair shops, upholstery stores, and car washes. The order will also allow outdoor rentals like boats, golf carts, and kayaks. We believe that these activities that we talked about are kind of one-off uh, issues where it's a single person, a single consumer uh, interacting with a single um, uh, provider of service. Which is it? I mean, do we have to hit the benchmarks or are we going to start opening up now? I think that's where people are confused. Some Republicans say the governor is picking winners and losers. Republican leaders are asking the state Supreme Court to block the governor's stay at home extension. There's a lot of businesses in the state that feel like they could open safely tomorrow under the guidelines. Now, Matt, you mentioned the request to the state Supreme Court. What is the latest status of that case? So the governor and his team have until tomorrow afternoon to respond. Shortly after that, the court is decided to ex expected to decide that is whether to take the case in Illinois. Just today, a judge temporarily blocked that state's stay at home extension.